It is June 1st, 2015, and this is what's going on with the flowers in my garden. I really had no idea that flowers were so beneficial for gardens. Um, I'm a pretty beginner gardener, so I just thought they were always just purely ornamental. Um, but they're not. So I've put marigolds, sunflowers, and uh, nasturtium everywhere. Here, not only do they help with the bad bugs, um, they give the pepper plants and the basil a really nice little shade. And so while we're right here, I'll show you how I take care of the marigolds. And it's one of like the most, oh, I just, I love doing it. And it's called deadheading. And you just take a bloom like this, and you can just kind of pop it off, and it makes that little pop sound, which is just awesome, like that. And you make more room for blooms that are about to pop out. And then, oh, right here I have a little bucket that I carry around. And you can see that's one of the marigolds I thinned out just a little bit ago. And I'll just toss the little uh, flowers in there. And I've done these, but if they don't pop off right away, they can last a little bit. But you're going to have tons of marigold blooms, so eh. Sometimes I just give a little tug. Um, so I'll use this in my compost bin because I know it's not, it doesn't have any sort of fungus or disease or anything like that. So we'll just set that right here for right now. The next flower we're going to talk about is the sunflower. And I've also kind of just pop, plopped these in um, where they need to be, which is near cucumbers. And anywhere, really. Um, they are pretty to look at. And I have never ever tried to harvest sunflower seeds, but hey, why not? And I did several different varieties. There's um, an evening sun, like this red one, which just bloomed. And then I did some really tall uh, giants. And here's a good spot to show you how they work really well with cucumbers. This big sunflower grew up through this cucumber trellis and the cucumbers will use it to climb up. If, unless it's used for a cucumber support, um, I may wait and let when the seeds fall out I'll go ahead and pull it up because um, I do have some more started that are will kind of take their place. Um, but the ones that the cucumbers are using, uh, I'll just leave the big stalk in the ground once the petals fall off because it doesn't really hurt anything and I'm going to show you another place I have sunflowers and that's in front of this vining cucumber the trellis and this is a perfect example of how the cucumbers use it So they're growing up this gate and also up the sunflowers. And these are multi-bloom sunflowers, so um, I'm hoping when they're just stalks that the cucumbers are climbing up, they'll still be blooming. And back here are a couple sunflowers there's some small ones and then there's like this big giant one and I just stuck them back here when I added this raised bed and put this syrup wheel which is a wheel that goes in a syrup tank that the cows lick and that's an old lamp post and I just figured I could train them to go through there once their leaves pop out like I just did this one kind of helped it through the space and the wheel will help support it during wind and then maybe I can just put something down there to catch the seeds when they fall. So that's just a little 
synopsis of how I use flowers in my garden. And they're just fun to look at. Look at those sunflowers.